I would like to tell you the wrist wearable blood flow meter using biomimetically structured uh, conductive PDMS. In this work, a wrist wearable blood flow meter, which is arranging highly sensitive blood pulse sensors, has been developed and successfully measures the bl blood pulse signals. Nowadays, the healthcare interest is increasing surprisingly. Previously, sensors were uncomfortable for people to use. For example, some sensors are stiff, and some sensors are uh, so large that users feel uncomfortable to use for a long time. And these lesions actually disturb exact measuring. Therefore, we have developed a platform to measure blood flow rate by making a soft, flexible, and sensitive pulse sensor suitable for human skin. First, this is the principle and design of the sensor. The sensor has a double structure and consists of first and second floor. Each floor is made of conductive PDMS uh, developed through previous research and has a thin column structure in the part where the lower and upper layers face each other. The structure of the corresponding part changes greatly according to the vibration of the skin's pulse and has a large fluid, uh, fluidity of electrical res resistance. For this reason, the pulse signal was measured and the blood flow rate was obtained by using the difference between the two first signals. The figure number 2 shows that the developed blood flow meter platform the transparent PDMS structure is attached to the wrist stretch used in everyday life to fix the sensor. And it fixes the two sensors so that they are located at a certain distance. As you can see, these sensors face each other in a ciliary structure, and when the pulse beats, the cilia are flexibly attached to each other. And as a result, the signal is measured by a change in electrically conductivity. Figure number 3 is the actual measured pulse signal. When two sensors at a certain distance measure the pulse, there is a minute difference in time of about 30 milliseconds in the signal between the two sensors. And by calculating this, the blood flow rate was obtained. Figure number 4 shows the conductivity change according to the pressure applied to the sensor. The conductivity according to the number of cilia, the saturation pressure according to the number of cilia, and the conductivity change rate according to the number of cilia. The stronger the pressing pressure, the higher the electrical conductivity, and the greater number of the cilia, the greater the rate of the change. However, when the when, a cilia, when the number of cilia is high, it tends to be saturated more quickly. And using this, we are able to create a sensor optimized for blood flow velocity measurement. Figure 5 shows the real-time measurement data. A constant waveform is shown between the two sensors. And by comparing the signals at the peak, it can be confirmed that the measurement time difference occurs between the two sensors. And number B shows the difference in pulse sensing measurement according to the number of the cilia. And the emphasis was different and we were able to design uh, optimized sensors for us. So it's the conclusion. In this study, a new platform was developed to measure the pulse rate multiple times on the wrist and use it to, to obtain blood flow velocity. Multiple pulse sensors were measured in real time to measure the difference in the time delay between the sensors. Through this study, a pulse sensor made of the conductivity lever can be used in wearable measurement sensors in the future, and it can be widely applied to as a point of care. In addition, by creating a platform that can be easily measured when worn, a flexible sensor is possible. Uh, proposed to be more suitable for the human body than conventional pulse sensor.